Hello everybody, welcome back to Rob's Reviews and Demos. Thanks for clicking on the link. If it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, so today we got kind of like a three-in-one video going on. I'm wearing the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I uh, just picked it up, kind of demoing the camera, as well as I got the OK75 and the OK99 out. We're going to demo how to pair them and also how to connect them via Bluetooth to your TV. Uh, keep in mind, the LGs, when paired up, will not be stereo, so we still won't have a stereo sound, even though I got them paired up. But um, they still sound pretty good for being mono. So that's what we're up to today, but first things first, we got to make a cocktail. And today's cocktail of the day is going to be, don't mind the mess, we just went shopping, uh, making mudslides. I'm making mudslides. So yeah, we're making mudslides today. We got the Chi Chi's mudslide mix right here. Very delicious stuff. Uh, got a little bit of Bacardi rum. Got to have a little extra rum in the mudslides. Now, mudslides are made differently. The Chi Chi stuff, I believe, comes with rum in it. Uh, made, yes, you can see, made with rum right there. So I like to put a little extra rum in there, but first things first, we gotta get some ice cubes. So the GoPro has stabilization on it, and it is on. Let's scoop out some ice here. Now I like my mud slides a little watery so I can actually drink them. I don't like them like a, like a sundae, I want them like a milkshake, a very watery milkshake. So we add about, we usually, I usually do about half and half. So we put this in here. Like I said, go about halfway to the level of the ice. And then I like to add just a small amount of rum. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to get too hammered. So you just add a small amount of rum here. You know, just like, yeah, like. Right around, yeah, right around there is pretty good. It's just like I said, it's just a, just a, a smidge in there. Actually, we're going to need some more ice because I think I add a little more rum than I wanted to. So, yeah, we need a little more ice here. Yeah, you know, it's a good bit of rum. It's like a 50-50, maybe a little heavy on the rum. But you got to have enough in there you can taste it, you know, at least I do. I like to taste it a little bit. No, I'm drinking alcohol. So add a little more ice in here. Give this thing a whirl in the blender. I'll shut you off while I'm blending so I don't make uh, so I don't blow your eardrums out. Okay, so we're done blending. I like to use the grind mode on the blender. And like I said, I like mine watery, so you can see it's nice and watery. I kind of like to be able to chug it down. And you gotta have a nice glass for mudslides. You can't just drink them out of a plastic cup. You gotta have an actual glass cup. And I'm not gonna do all the fancy Friday stuff, the chocolate syrup. As you can see that's nice and watery and nice and powerful. Oh yeah, yeah, that's strong. Just the way I like it. So, here we go back to the speaker here. All right, so this is the top of the OK75. And we're just going to power it on. Power on. This thing's a little used. You're going to see something here that I that I noticed. Uh, power on. You're going to see, interestingly, so the OK75 is about two years old. And the lights, the color of the lights on the woofer have definitely worn down. They're not as as vibrant as they were when it was new, as you could tell by looking at the OK99. The color on the woofer is much more vibrant than it is on the 75. So I did look to see if I could get new diodes for it. And I'll tell you, I couldn't find any parts anywhere on the LG website for these OKs. Just a little bit of tidbit of info for you all there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pair them up. We're going to come over here. Or let's do the main one first. I'm going to use the OK75 as the main speaker 
First of all, function is going to be Bluetooth. Uh, the function on it is going to be Bluetooth. So we're going to go to we get the Bluetooth. And then we're going to hit wireless link, right? And it says party link. And we want this to be the main. So we'll just hit the button again until it says main and then leave it. And come over to 99 here. Functions Bluetooth, wireless link. Hit the button again. See, it says main. Uh, and we hit it again because we don't want it to be the main. We want it to be the other. So right now, the OK99 is slaved to the OK75. So the OK75 is running the show. Next, to get the Bluetooth connected to your TV, you hit the home button on here. And it's been a while since I did this, so bear with me. We should be able to go to settings and go to sound and sound output. We're going to click that and we're going to go to Bluetooth speaker list. Now, so it came up on the TV because I'm not paired like I thought I was. So we're going to click the OK75 pair and connect. Let's see if it actually connects here. There we go. And now we're connected to the OK75 via Bluetooth. And we're also... Yeah, you can see it's working there. It's actually on. So we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. And we're going to put on some Foo Fighters here. This is a little girl on YouTube called Nandy. Her name's Nandy. She's really an awesome drummer. Um, I definitely recommend you guys checking her out. Her name is Nandy with an N bushel. Definitely recommend you checking her out. But here we go with the little Foo Fighters. Like I said, we got the OK75 on. I'm going to check the volume here. I don't want it too loud. I'm just going to do like 5%, 10% volume. Now, the thing with pairing two different size speakers is we're going to have way more volume out of the 99 than we are, are the OK75. So let's see if it worked. Yep. Let's go ahead and turn it up a little more. Once you get them evened out, because they have two different sizes, the remote will run both speakers. Well, let me tell you, for all of you who've never seen the Foo Fighters, I'm going to tell you how this works. And the old school knows how it works. There we go. I like it when the audience sings along with me. Can you fucking sing a song with me right now? I don't know. Oh, no cursing. Skip ahead here. Take those pictures down. Shake it out. Truth or consequence. Say you loud. Years of evidence. Race you around. So I can control the volume with the TV remote. Uh, once I get the speakers set where I want them. I'm going to go over it one more time for everybody just to be sure everybody got it. So pairing the speakers together. What we're going to do, we're going to use the 75 as the main unit. So basically it will control both speakers. Uh, the 99 will be slave to it. So we hit wireless link once, wireless link twice, and main comes up. If I hit it a third time, other will come up. Uh, sorry about the glare there. So it's the main, then we run over here to the 99, hit wireless link, let's see if I get rid of the glare, uh, wireless link, other, so we want this to be the other, and if you have more speakers, you just make them all others, so that's how you get them paired, and it should, you know, say it's connected, there we go, it says this one's saying OK99, so they are connected together at this point. So the next thing I generally do is try to get the volume. Being I have two different size speakers here, um, I try to set the volume to where they're about the same. So I have the 99 set around 30 and the OK75 set around 40. So then we go to our TV remote. 
excuse me if I'm a little bouncy here. Then we go to the OK or the uh, TV remote. And uh, earlier in the video, I demonstrated the GoPro 7. I switched over to the camcorder so you guys could see how just how good the stabilization is on the GoPro 7. Um, so this is the video camera shooting now where earlier, the earlier demonstration I shot with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I'm sure you can notice the stabilization on the on the GoPro is great because this thing's bouncing all over the place. And, you know, this camera has stabilization as well. So the GoPro really does a good job. So then we hit, uh, on the Samsung remote, we hit the home button. Then we go to, we hit the home button, then we go to settings. Then we go to sound. And you can see right now, output is the speaker. So we select that, select it again. And we go to Bluetooth speaker list. Now this is where you would hit the pairing button on the OK75. Uh, I already have the speakers paired, so it paired automatically. Uh, I just have to select the OK75 at this point, connect to it. And that's it. It's connected, as you can see. We're going to close it out. Basically just hit the return button a bunch of times. Uh, we went back to this, unfortunately. So let's go to YouTube Music. You can see I got the Foo Fighters queued up. And here we go. You can control, once you get the volume on the speakers set, you can control the volume right here on the TV. You can see it's coming up on the left there. And we can turn it down, turn it up. I don't know if I'm allowed to actually replay this. So let's go back and see if we can find the... Is that the, oh, that is the official video, okay. So this is their video, but Foo Fighters is really good about allowing people to use their stuff. Let's go ahead and turn my light off here. So there you go. That's the Bluetooth connection on the TV. I don't have my good mic on the camera, so I'm not going to play a bunch of really loud music in this video. This was more just to demonstrate these couple of features for you guys. Uh, so I hope this was helpful to anybody looking to figure out how to pair them to the TV or how to pair them together. Um, that pretty much it. I hope it. That's pretty much it. I hope that explains everything for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.